Good evening, Yesland family! <laughs> Congratulations again sa ating mga inawarda, no? Our top sellers for the month of February. Saludo kami sa inyo, sa hard work nyo, sa contribution nyo. May God bless you even more. Kasama na ang buong pamilya nyo. And we we welcome lahat tayo dito. Again, this is our third sizzling event for the year. And as the March continues, gusto lang namin bigyan kayo ng something different for this month, for this sizzling, no? We're gonna share with you something personal, no? Very personal sa Yesland and sa akin. Ibabalik namin kayo from five years ago, how we started. So that as we keep on moving forward, as we keep on achieving our dreams, no? Uh, makakatulong itong mga stories sa inyo kasi similar lang naman ang mga na-experience natin sa araw-araw, no? In the real estate industry and in Yesland. Why do we need to share, you know, yung, yung past, paano naging ganito ang Yesland after five years? It's because today, ang nakikita naman ng lahat, for example, sa akin, nakikita lang ninyo, head broker, di ba? Um, asawa ng top broker, <laughs> or has a team that sold bill of real estate properties already. Ngayon, nakikita na as a CEO ganyan ng Yesland Corporation na. So, very ano, very um, all the highlights and the glory lang. So, hindi talaga nang intindihan paano na-create yung ganito. How, how, paano kami minold ni Lord from those experiences the past years. And ayan, ang isha-share ko sa inyo today. I hope you're excited, no? Puso naman tayo dyan if you're excited to hear some personal stories, no? Kasi um, na nakaka-experience tayo lahat. Lahat tayo may pangarap. I'm sure of that, no? Lahat tayo may pangarap and we, we all know that God planted these dreams in our hearts. Pero lahat din tayo nakaka-experience ng struggles, right? So, we're, sometimes we're doubting ourselves. Kaya ko ba to? <laughs> Is this really for me? And you're struggling. Thumbs up nga if nagsa-struggle ka sometimes sa mga pangarap mo. Oo, tama ba? Pare-pareho naman tayo, no? So, I'm gonna share with you how to break through all those um, struggles, how to break through all your doubts, all your fears, worries, so that we can all continue to march forward. So, simulan natin, 2016, so five years ago. We started five years ago, January 2016. I started as a salesperson like most of you, so ahente. Nag-start kami habang nagre-review ng board exam. Siyempre, ahente ka muna bago ka mag-broker, ganyan. Wala pang yes lang dati, yes team pa dati. So you can check my Facebook doon, nag-start, may, may folder doon, 2016, 2017. So yes team dati. January 2016, I started doing monthly recognition na, monthly training, like what we're doing. No? Kahit maliit pa lang, we started, 12 lang kami, or yeah, yeah, 10, 12 people nag-start ng sizzling. And ngayon, ilan na tayo? 200 plus na nag every month. So, and we're, gonna, we're still gonna grow, no? So, 2016, after 6 to 7 months of being a real estate salesperson and while reviewing for the board exam, nakapasa ng board exam ng March and nakapag oath taking ng April, Um, naka, ano, kumbaga, nakabawi na kasi may tumulong lang sa amin na broker yung, yung tumata yung broker namin doon na makapag-review kami makapasa kami, ano, kailangan lang ganit, may ganitong sale, ganyan para kumbaga, pagtanaw ng utang na loob It, we're very grateful forever, no? sa pinanggalingan namin in 2016 sa tumulong sa amin na broker pero syempre, pag broker ka na you, you, you can think na um, broker ako, no if we have different kasi sobrang ibang-iba kami sa value, sa beliefs, no? Sa pagpapatakbo ng negosyo. Ma maiisip mo yun, eh, na pag hindi naman magkasundo, oh, might as well, broker ka naman, you can start your own realty. So, yun, we started our own realty. It's called Yes Land Realty, August of 2016, no? August 8, 2016, we registered it sa DTI, and nakakasyak, wala, wala man lang gumamit noon over the past decades ng Yes Land. So, para sa atin talaga yun, Yes Land Realty. So, aba, mahirap pala mag-start ng business. <laughs> Akala ko, madali lang, no? Um, mahirap pala mag-start. Kasi wala kang background, wala kang network, wala kang ano, connections, diba? ba? Hindi naman kami lumaki ng Laguna. So, we started the Yes Land Dream sa small apartment in Marikita. 
So, marami sa mga kasama natin dito na since 2016, 2017 kasama namin. Oo, dun, dun sila tumatambay. So, it's a small apartment as in one bedroom lang. <laughs> Parang 5,000 pesos lang yun per month sa may Marikita sa Santa Rosa. Andun na lahat. So, dun kami natutulog, kumakain, nagluluto, naliligo. Dun na din yung office. I remember before may nag-CI, no? Kasi kukuha kaming sasakyan. Maliit lang na sasakyan para pang treating, ganyan. And may nag-CI, pumunta dun sa apartment, sa small apartment. <laughs> Tapos, habang nagsi-CI siya, pinicture, oh, saan dito yung office niya? So, may isang part lang doon. Uh, you can check the pictures sa Facebook ko. May isang part lang doon. Nandun na yung laptop na luma. Tapos, printer na ano, sponsored ba ng, ng tita ko na nurse. Ganyan, si tita che. Tapos, meron pa doon mga ano, parang papers. Ganyan. Basta, mamaya-maya yung nagsi-CI nandun, nakaupo. Lumabas yung aso. Siyempre, ilan ang aso namin? Toy poodle. Tapos, lumabas yung mga pamangkin ko. Ganyan. So, parang, kagulo hindi hindi siya parang office eh, no it's more of uh, really work from home and wala we can't afford to have an office so doon na mismo siya sa apartment that's how we started ng 2016 and i remember wala pa tayong pambayad doon sa mga venue kasi wala man tayong pera noon wala may sales pero kakaliit parang per month less than 10 million Oh, masaya na kami nung nag-10 million kami na sales, tas 20 million nung 2016, parang masayang-masaya na kami nun. Oh, ngayon nakaka 200M na tayo, ba? Diba? Pero that, that's really how everybody starts. We start small, we start from zero. So, nung ang mga training dati, libre. So, sa Araya, may clubhouse, syempre walang aircon, no? I remember, ako lahat. So, bibili kang pagkain sa bakery, bibili akong pinapay. Tapos, syempre, para after the training, may kinakain sila. Tapos, aagahan mo sa venue, kasi ikaw mag-aayos ng upuan. Gusto ko maayos yung upuan. Tapos, iaayosin mo yung projector, kung may projector or sa TV. Tapos, ako din magpupunas ng upuan. Ayusin mo, kausapin mo yung coordinator. Ikaw din yung magte-training. <laughs> Yung mga sizzling dati, ako din yung naglalagay ng certificate sa certificate holder nung wala pang staff ng 2016. So, it was really a lot of hard work and it was fun. But it was hard. Really hard. And I remember nagtitripping dati nung wala pang sasakyan. Ang hirap. Pero nung nagkasasakyan na kami finally with the help of a friend, I, we were doing like 12 to 20 trippings per week. Merong one weekend, sampung tripping, no? Nung kasagsagan ng mga malalaking projects dyan sa Cavite and dito sa Laguna. So sabi ko, ang hirap. Yung hihiga ka sa gabi. <laughs> Tapos, ram, yung likod mo talaga ramdam mo. Minsan hindi mo siya ramdam, pero minsan ramdam mo siya na masakit yung likod. It's, you're, ang tawag doon, di ba? Ano, bone tired, no? So, type mo ngayon, if sometimes you still experience that, na well, well, going after your dreams, you're working really hard every day, and then you go home, you're bone tired or happy tired. So, comment mo, happy tired na lang, happy tired, yan. So, you're happy because mahirap man, you know that you are getting closer to your dreams, tama ba? <laughs> so, tripping to the max yan. So, dati ako lahat, hanggang tinulungan na ako ni Lani, dumating na, ng, dumating na yung ibang staff. Pero paunti-unti because I can't afford a staff yet dati. So, na-experience nyo din ba dati na ano, hindi ko ito makakalimutan? Lagi-lagi, no, broker na ako. Minsan, wala kami yung pangkain. Pambili ng pagkain or pamas sahay sa jeep, no? Pag-tricycle, wala. So, minsan, and most of the time, dati, hingi kami ng tulong sa tita namin so, or, or sa friend, magpapadala yan ng 100 sa bank account. Tapos, di maglalakad kami papunta sa may ATM sa may kabuyaw. Kasi wala kang pamasahe. Paglakad mo dun, hindi mo ma-withdraw yung 100. Yan pala, napindot ko muna yung ano, check maintaining balance. So, pag pinindot mo yun, may bayad yun. Pag ibang bank, so 2 pesos, 11 pesos, Unbelievable, hindi ka makakain, gutom na gutom ka na, hindi mo ma-withdraw 100 kasi kulang ng dos. So, ganun ka lupit, no? Kaya ngayon, I'm very happy kasi, ano, meron akong target, eh, like sa savings, sa investment, na ganito, ilang digits dapat. Kasi ayoko na bumalik sa ganung experience, nakaka, nakakainis, no? So, napuputulan din kami ng Meralco. I know, may mga ganyang na-experience. Broker na ako noon. Sabi ko, sa baba namin, may canteen. So, si Ate Fen, hanggang ngayon, Uh, baka nanonood pa yun dito. Ano, ate Nikki, nandiyan na yung meral ko, magpaputol. Eh, kumakain sa kanila sa kantin. Sabihin mo muna, te, huwag muna. Kasi nakalimutan. Sobrang busy sa ano, real estate. Nakalimutan namin magbayad. O, tas kinabukasan, bumalik. Akala nagbayad na kami. Eh, binagbigyan na kami one day. So, pinutol. Ilang beses yun, hindi lang isang beses. No? So, life was tough. It was hard. Nang nagsisimula, wala namang madali. No? Ngayon, ang ingitian ko na lang. Pero dati, nakakainis. Matutulog ka na walang meral ko. No? Walang kuryente, ang init. 
It's so uncomfortable. So, end of 2016, eto na. <laughs> eto na ang nangyaring mabigat. End of 2016, may first batch, no? Kasi, ano, tatlong batch yan, eh, na, na iniwan kami sa Yesland, umali. So, first batch of team leaders, nagpaalam. So, wala pang sales manager dati, wala pang sales director. Onti pa lang kami brokers. May first batch na team leaders. So, apat to nagpaalam to leave YLR. Kasi, inoferan sila nung isang broker na sikat na 4%. Tapos sabi nila, kasi itong broker na to, Nikki, ang daming connections, may network na, built na sa real estate, may kotse, may tripping vehicle, may office, may background sa real estate, matagal na sa real estate, and ikaw, wala, wala, wala eh. Sakit nun na kasi mga kaibigan ko to mga to, no? Sabi nila, ano, um, they love me daw, pero they have to, ano, take the bigger offer. So, parang trabaho, no? So, yun, to cut the long story short. So, iniwan nila ako. Iniyakan ko yun. Oo, magpapas ko nun. Grabe. So, end of 2016 yun. 2017, akala ko ganun lang, no? Yung mga pangyayari. So, sa mga hindi nakakaalam po, ang birthday ko ay New Year. New Year, um, January 1. So, wala kang pera. Ang tagal na mga komisyon. May mga umalis pa, etc. Birthday ko, New Year's Eve. Oo. One night, I will never forget. So, it was so painful. Kasi yung miski pang bili ng cake, wala ako eh, di ba? Hindi ka rin makapagyaya ng ano kasi wala kang pera. So, this story is painful yet awakening. Nang hiram kami ng sasakyan sa kaibigan namin to go to ano. Kasi kami lang ni mami ang nasa bahay. So, may kanyang-kanyang buhay mga kapatid ko. Kapatid kong isa si Erika, nag-Uber, ganyan. Kapatid ko si Nico, may ibang work, ganyan. So, um... Punta kami ng MOA kasi parang sabi ko, ano ba yan? Late-late nung ano, apartment. Tapos nandun lang kami. Eh, syempre, nagsiselebrate ang lahat. New Year, di ba? Tapos birthday ko pa. Sabi ko, mapunta tayo ng ano, MOA. Makita ko man lang, makapanood ako ng fireworks on my birthday. So, um, dahil New Year, walang bayad ang tol. <laughs> walang bayad ang tol. Tapos may gas naman yung sasakyan na pinahiram sa amin. So, punta kami ng MOA. Eto na. Syempre, traffic, no? Tapos late na yung decision kasi na, in, I'm so upset na no? walang plano yung nanay ko or ako, wala kami plano for my birthday. Ay, parang wala, hindi ako special or ay, my, my life doesn't matter. Parang ganun. Last minute na, napumunta kami ng MOA. And, kailan nagputukan yung <laughs> nag fireworks? Nag-countdown. 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1. New Year. Nasaan kami? Nasa parking ng MOA. We were not able to go down na to see the whole thing. Siguro mga kakapiranggot na makikita sa parking. No? Pero it was so frustrating. Tapos sobrang traffic. Ang daming tao. Nakakain kami. Mga 1.30am nakalabas kami ng Mall of Asia. So pauwi na kami ng Laguna pabalik. Punta muna kami ng Harbor Square. Minute namin si Erika. Nag-Uber siya noon dati. Tapos, kain muna. So, ang ganda na New Year's Eve kainan, di ba? KFC sa may Harbor Square. Tapos, I really, really remember this, no? Hindi ako maka-order na kahit ano kasi wala akong pera. Tapos, so, nag-order yung mami ko ng one-piece chicken ata or yung parang pinakamura pa doon yung chicken something, 49 or 55 pesos. Parang medyo mas, ma, masama pa yung loob niya na nilibre niya ako na parang ano ba to? Wala na naman pera to. Parang, that was so, masakit siya. Hindi dahil nainis ako sa mami ko na hindi natutuwang or hindi man lang sinelebrate yung birthday ko. Nainis ako sa akin kasi I'm an adult already. Nainis ako sa sarili ko na I'm letting that happen. Na anong ginawa mo, di ba? What's happening? So that night, it was really, ano, it was really um, painful, no? It was really painful. And narealize ko na yun yung naging fuel ko. Oo, kaya ngayon talaga sinelebrate ko ang birthday ko nang hindi normal kasi parang that that night that new year's eve really changed something parang may pumitik eh no i was really mad at myself and parang sayo but wala akong control dito but hindi ako prepared sa ganito and i was really crying nung pag-uwi sa bahay na realize ko the purpose of pain ang purpose ng pain is to move us into action It's not to make us suffer. Again, the purpose of pain is to move us into action. It is not to make us suffer. So, use that pain. Alam kong hindi lang ako may ganito mga pinagdadaanan sa kwento. No? Use the pain as a fuel and keep going. So, pwede mo i-type yun. Pain is fuel. Keep going. Yan. Comment down below. Let's encourage each other. So, use that pain as a fuel and keep going. So, I remember January 2017, The birthday ko, di ba? So, mga third week, I, every year, I go to Planet Shakers. Minsan, wala akong pera. Pinapangutan ko pa pambilin ticket. Ganyan. <laughs> Non-negotiable for me ang mga conferences every year. 
So, punta ako doon para nagsusumbong ako kay Lord Planet Shakers Conference. Dalaw lang kami ng kaibigan ko, si Ate Rose. Sabi ko, ano ba, ano ba naman to, Lord? Akala ko ba may calling ka sa akin sa real estate? Ba't naman ang hirap? Diba? I was on the verge of giving up. Sabi ko, baka naman yes, land is really not you know, the dream that you placed in my heart, Lord. Baka naman nagkakamali ako. Kasi kahit pamilya ko, hindi naniwala sa akin. Eh. Wala, iniwan ako ng mga kaibigan ko, ng mga leaders, di ba? They don't believe in me. Pinagpalit nila ako. Tapos baon pa ako sa utang, di ba? Kasi I feel from businesses prior to entering real estate. So, baon ako sa utang, di ba? Tapos wala ka pang kasama. Wala na naniwala sa'yo. Kasi ko, hanap na lang ang totoong trabaho. Diba? At least may monthly yun. May mga naninira pa sa social media. Tapos yun, yung family mo doesn't believe in you. Ang hirap. And then, during the worship, no? Worship. I know who you are na worship. So, syempre, grabe ang Planet Shakers Conference. Pag wala ng pandemic, attend kayo doon. Ha? I, I, I've attended like six already every year. So, grabe yun. Kasi during worship, so, syempre, iyak lang. Iyak ako ng iyak. Kasi feeling ko loser ako, ganyan. Tapos, iwan ni iwan ako. Iyak ako ng iyak, and then I was asking God, ano, speak to me, Lord. Speak to me. Para alam ko kung anong gagawin this year, di ba? Tutuloy ba natin tong yes land or tama na? Kasi masyado na masakit. So sabi niya, ito yung sabi niya, guys. I hope you're listening. Nikki, tama naman sila. Yan. So habang nakapikita ko, God speaks really loud sa puso natin if you will just be still and, you know, listen to Him. So, this is the message na natanggap ko. Sabi niya, Nikki, totoo naman yung sinasabi nila. You know? This broker, no? Is, is really better than you. Mas maraming connection. Marami itong broker na to na wala ka. So, marami siyang meron na wala ka. So, meron siyang connections, network, background sa real estate, may sasakyan, may office, tripping vehicles, investments, sikat, may pangalan. Lahat yun, wala ka. Tama naman sila. Pero Nikki, you are here right now. And meron ka, nawala siya. Meron kang something, nawala siya. Isip ako, sabi ko, anong meron ako nawala siya? Eh, PR si license, meron kami pareho. <laughs> so sabi na Lord, you have me. You have me. And I am more than enough. So we will show them that it's enough. No, we will show them. Grabe, no? So, yun daw yung meron ako si Lord. <laughs> so, yes, this training is difficult pagka-personal ang, ang sinishare. Pero kailangan kasi ito yung reality, no? And if you have God in your life, He is more than enough, no? To help you succeed in life and in your dreams. Basta sabi niya tuloy lang, so, syempre, after plan shakers, medyo may pinanghahawakan na ako, diba? Sige, tuloy tayo, January 2017. Same year, second quarter, eto na. So, akala ko, success na agad, ba After that message, hindi pa. Same year, second quarter, it was April. Hindi, hindi ko makakalimutan yun. Sa Jollibee Pavilion, after the sizzling, second batch of agents, nagpaalam. Second batch, hindi to isa, dalawa, apat, hindi. Thirteen sila, one, three, No? So, mahaba yon if you've been to Pavilion Jollibee. So, may mahabang table doon. Tapos, nandun ako. Inantay nila ako after the sizzling. Tapos, may paper lang sila na papapirmahan sa akin. Uh, saying na after umalis sila ng yes land, nag-resign sila, I will still release the commissions due to them. Yung 13 na yun. So, I signed naman. Pero, during the conversation, isa-isa sila nagsalita kung bakit sila aali. So, sinabi nila na, Nikki, kasi napakabata mo marami ka pang bigas na kakainin. Gusto kong sabi At the back of my mind, I was telling them, oh, ko po, gusto ko pang magsaing at kumain ng bigas, di ba? I, I know na marami pa akong bigas na kakainin. Pero ganun yung sabi, you're so young, um, ang dami mong hindi alam, tapos ang dami mong pang kakainin bigas. Sabi nila, I'm not good enough. Doon daw sa lilipatan nila, 4% yung bibigay sa kanila. Tapos may network na daw yun, built na daw yun na tao, may other businesses, may bahay, may sasakyan. Okay daw talaga. So, parang ganun din eh, no? Yung nangyari nung end of 2016 na ulit ng 2017. Sabi ko kay Lord, Lord, kala ko ba naman, no? Oh, may iba na yung year na to. Hindi. Ang sagot niya, pruning daw yun. Nikki, this is just pruning. So, tinanggap ko siya as pruning kasi ito din yung mga salespersons na demanding, na puro reklamo. So, nung umalis sila, feeling ko mas gumaan, pero... I felt, ano, nabawasan din, syempre, sales force. So, bababawasan din sales, ba? Pero, 
um, I, I remember dati kinukonfront ako ng ilan dun sa 13 na Nikki, pag magte-training, kasabihin mo naman sa amin kung prayer meeting or sales training. Kasi puro dasal, may worship, pag-uusapan sa fees. Ano ba naman? Akala ko sales training. Tapos puro training, training, mindset, mindset. Puro ka Jesus, Jesus. Ganun, ganun. They confronted me. Ganun, ganun nila ako kausapin. And uh, sakit, da, ouch. Pero I was steadfast sa aking faith. No? And I just wanna talk about how good God is. So, kung ayaw nila, hindi wag. <laughs> so, they left. At least, ano, um, pruning, medyo nabawasan. Siyempre, iniyakan ko yon tulad ng second batch. Kasi mahal ko sila. And deep in my heart, siguradong sigurado ko na matutulungan ko mabago yung buhay nila. Kaso, hindi nila ako naantay, eh, ba? You just have this gut feeling, no? Na, and parang inkling to do what you're supposed to do, to keep going. So, diretso lang ako. With God, with grace, and with greed, I, I kept going, I kept persevering, no? Moving forward lang. Um... Kasi alam ko eh kung bakit ko to ginagawa. I knew my why. They tell me, oh, ginagamit mo lang si Lord. Kunyari, pray, pray, ganyan. Alam ko sa sarili ko how much I love the Lord and you know how much I wanna share His love and shine His light. So, maraming maririnig na ganyan sa journey mo din. But it's okay. You just have to keep on moving forward. Keep on going lang, no? It's not gonna be easy. I never imagined na it's gonna be this hard to start a company or to run a company na sobrang hirap pala na hindi mo bayaran yung sarili mo ng 3 to 4 years, no? Na ang dami mo overtime. <laughs> 14, 16, 18 hours of work per day for the company and for everybody na hindi nila nakita. Um, sobrang daming hinarap na no's and rejections. I'm just glad that I have, God sent me people to help me dun sa journey na yun. When you receive that many no's and rejections, sin dito ganyan, nakaka-receive ng mga no's ng rejection, ng criticism, puso naman dyan. <laughs> puso ka dyan, no? Normal lang po yan. But when you receive that, pag dumaan yung ganyan, karaming pagsubok, people telling you you're not good enough, or mapapaisip ka na ba na parang, oo nga, no? Mag trabaho na lang kaya ako, yung totoong trabaho, yung job. Kasi feeling nila, hindi to totoong trabaho. What are you gonna do? Maniniwala ka ba sa kanila? O sa sarili mo? Are you gonna trust yourself and move forward sa mga pangarap mo? Kasi alam mo naman na kay Lord galing yung mga pangarap mo, right? Are you gonna trust yourself? Are you gonna believe in yourself? Or maniniwala ka sa kanila? I hope you trust yourself, no? Um, believe in yourself. Comment mo nga yan, believe, I believe in me. Yan. Or I believe. Or believe. Basta maniwala ka. Importante. Huwag sa kanila kundi sa sarili mo. So what kept us going? It's our deep why. Ikaw ano ang deep, deep, deep why mo? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you even here? No, Nakikinig sa akin sa sizzling. Kasi ako, same yung why ko. For the past 14 years, I've been attending the feast for 27 years. So same yung why ko. It's to share God's love. I want to retire young and rich. I want time freedom and financial freedom. And I want to share God's love to many people. I want to shine His light in the business world and in real estate. Nung, nung nandito na sa Yesland, yun nga, giving excellent service so that people in Yesland will earn big. No, in the Philippines, at yung mga nasa abroad na pamilya nila, they, they will be reunited again. They don't need to go as an OFW to work. mag abroad ka lang to travel. So, yun yung mga why ko, yung mga dream ko. And I, I'm, I'm just happy na Dito nagkakatotoo sa yes land, dito sa real estate, no? So, I hope ikaw din alam mo yung big why mo. Alam mo sana yung big why mo. Going back with God, with grace, and with grit, I kept going, no? I kept, you know, working hard and hustling and believing. Working hard every single day. Kahit nakakapago, diretso lang. 2018, we worked doubly hard. So, todo na yun, 2018. It's the time that we're finally able to transfer, no? Sa totoong office. <laughs> sa mall. I think we're the only reality na nasa mall ngayon. Um, nasa loob ng mall. Disente na, di ba? Pag may nagsisi, ay, approved na agad. Kasi nasa loob ka na Robinsons. Tapos kaming pamilya, hindi na kami naging NPA 2018. Hindi na kami no permanent address. For the very first time in the history ng pamilya namin, we were able to acquire our own home. At yung kasiyahan ng mga kapatid ko na mapamangkin ko that first night was um, it's priceless. Sulit lahat, no? Nang, nang hirap. So that was 2018. But wait, there's more. 
We ended 2018 with 300% growth in business. Yeah, and I don't know where you are right now. Pwede mo mampalakpakan si Lord doon. So we ended 2018 with 300% growth in business. We ended the year with a total sales of 1.2 billion sales. <laughs> sa Yes Land, something unheard here sa probinsya ng Laguna, no? Kaya naman ilang officers and past presidents ng Pareb, Philippine Association, Real Estate Board, they went to the office, they visited the Island office para makilala kami, ako, tapos uh, talaga nakikilala na ang Island 2018. May mga gusto pang makipag-partner na investor, yan. <laughs> Ibang level na, which we declined, of course, kasi iba yung kultura natin dito, iba yung beliefs natin. So, we're willing to wait, no? Pero all this happened after the pruning Again, all this happened after the pruning, after tinanggal ni Lord yung mga dapat tanggalin sa sarili natin, sa leadership, sa, sa, sa mga salesperson, sa loob, no? Talagang inano niya, uh, minold niya ang yes land to become what it is today. So after the pruning, maraming hindi naniwala sa yes land before, pero ngayon lahat naniniwala na. <laughs> 2019 came, um, medyo magaan na. May mga tax problems kasi 3% lang dati yung kinakaltas natin ay to become vatable. So medyo nagka-problema, malaki yung inabulonghan natin sa tax. Inayos natin yung yung tax natin. And ngayon, we're proud, no? We're one of the top realty ano, payers, tax payers. Yan, we're proud. Yeah, puso ka naman dyan. Proud YLR, yan. Kilala tayo na nagpo-post tayo ng sales kasi totoo yung mga nire-remit natin na taxes. 2019 also, yan yung sobrang dami naming travels. Um, there was one time, no, dream come true, pumunta kami Amerika to visit relatives also. Siyempre, yun yung pinaka-priority. Pero dream come true yun, Amerika yun. I was granted a 10-year visa, praise be to God. And we were in the US and akala ko okay na eh, 2019. <laughs> Third batch, yan na, third batch ang aalis. Pero hindi naman sila resigned. I, ter I, I decided it was a very hard decision to terminate leaders, no? Third batch to na umalis. And I hope it's the last batch. No? Batch, ibig sabihin more than one, eh. Two, three, <laughs> marami sila. Marami sila, no? Um, nasa Amerika ako and, ano, it came to my attention, may mga nagsumbong na ito, mga negative sinasabi about the company, parang gusto sirain ng yes land, chamba lang daw yung 1 billion, ano daw ako na leader, yung maraming ganyan, eh, may isang nakapasok dun sa group chat nila, so nakita lahat, and those are evidences na they don't believe in the company, they don't believe in the leader, so magiging mahirap ang relationship. So nagbook ako ng earlier flight, April 2019, from the US, 13 hours, iniisip ko yung, yung gagawin ko, kasi may meeting eh, general assembly, that I will um, sasabihin ko lahat na dapat sabihin na mahirap it was tough so 13 hours na flight just so stressed thinking about what's gonna happen when these leaders ano, will be terminated so lahat yan, inisip ko, nagkasakit pa ako noon mahirap, after nung gabing yun actually, nag, ano kami na lang, feast worship sa Mall of Asia, I just surrendered everything to the Lord para magaan kasi mahirap bitbitin mo lahat yun so again Kala nyo, tapos na, 2016, challenges, 2017, 2018, <laughs> meron pa 2019, no? Nagkagulo-gulo pa dahil sa mga differences in beliefs and values. Pero at the end of the day, okay, okay pa rin. I was okay kasi may love life na ako nun, eh, no? May ka-partner na ako nun, nandiyan si Broker Love. Eee! So, kung nakikilig na yan, <laughs> no, tag natin si Broker Love. Grabe ang pagmamahal niya, ang suporta niya, ang tiwala niya sa akin, ang paniniwala niya sa akin. So, I, I really felt... Ano naman, kahit may problems, I felt loved kasi nandiyan yung family, yung family, no? So, 2019, 2020, meron pa bang, ano, challenges ng 2020? Oo naman, 2020, the pandemic hit. It hit hard, no? Lockdown. So, paano mag-treating? OMG, right? I'm sharing this with you guys kasi hindi madaling maging successful. Tama? Hindi madaling maging successful. Hindi madaling mag-serve kay Lord. At sa pamilya, you really need to have a clear, deep why to be reminded bakit mo ba ginagawa yung ginagawa mo. And to be reminded who you really are. Ano ba yung totoo? Ang totoo, you are a child of God. You're a powerful champion. You are loved. You are His beloved. So yun yung totoo. Yun yung pinanghawakan ko. Kaya ako to share sa inyo to remind you na sometimes mag-iisip ka to give up on your dreams. But no. No? Huwag kang magigive up sa mga pangarap mo kasi um, si Lord din nagplant niyan and maraming maraming mabibless hindi lang pamilya mo. 
pagka tinatagan mo yung loob mo and you push through those challenges and you achieve your dream, sobrang maraming mabibless. I'm telling you, okay? Kinikwento ko na sa inyo yung mga pinagdaanan dati. Sometimes may mga nagsasabi sa'yo, i- ano, directly man or indirectly na you don't have what it takes, you're not good enough, diba? Magsa-start yung self-doubt, yun, nakamamatay yun. Self-doubt, negative self-talk. Sana i-remove natin yun. Kung may iba nagsasabi negative things about us, it's beyond our control. Pero what you tell yourself every single day, it's what matters. So ako, I tell myself every single day that I'm beloved, I'm treasured, I'm God's powerful champion, I'm a great leader. So dapat positive yung self-talk. Stop um, criticizing yourself, di ba? We, we respect that we're all work in progress, but please, love yourself, believe in yourself, trust yourself. It's hard when other people don't support us. Pero okay lang if basta sarili mo, naniniwala ka sa sarili mo. Tama ba? I just wanna share last, no? Um, this is what I use. Ginamit ko to para mapagtagumpayan uh, ba? Or kumbaga ma-overcome lahat ng difficulties na yon Ito yung mga ginawa ko, no? Sinadya akong dumikit kay Lord, yeah? <laughs> Type mo nga sa chat. Pray. P-R-A-Y. Pray. Diba? Sinadya akong dumikit kay Lord at sa mga taong nagmamahal at sumusuporta na niniwala sa akin. So, yung mga hindi, I love them still, kasi sabi love, but from a distance. Again, from a distance. Medyo hindi ako spend time with them. Um, you have to really spend time with people who pushes you, who accepts you as you are, right? Grateful ako to have friends in the feast. I am grateful for my best friend RP, my tita Dang, tita Che and tito Jerome, no? And other relatives who believed in me when we were starting, nung walang-wala pa ang Yesland. These people love Yesland and love me as I am, not love me because of my accomplishments. You have to receive love. You have to receive love from people so that you can give love. Mahirap yun, no? Pag empty ka. You have to spend time with God. Pray all the time. <laughs> Laman po ako ng St. Clair sa Kabuyao. Naging kaibigan ko na yung mga madre doon. And Padre Pio, no? Sa Santo Tomas. Almost every day, I was intentional. Sinasadya ako maging better and better every day to be closer kay Lord. And I attend... Isa pang tip, I attend countless of conferences every year. So, kung may chance nang umaten ng seminar conference, attend ka lang. I attend countless of conferences every year. Planet Shakers, Hillsong, Lenten Recollection, <laughs> Jewels Conference, Kerygma Conference, no KCON, and I bring people, I bring our friends, our leaders with us jaan. So, ang dami pa. During the darkest nights and most painful moments in my life, I just held on yung mga natutunan ko dyan sa mga conferences na yan, sa feast every week. I just held on to God's promise na mahal niya ako and may maganda siyang future para sa akin. And gusto niya abundant ang buhay ko, maging prosperous ako. So, pinanghawakan ko yun. Kaya nangyari, no? Sabi nga ni St. Padre Pio, di ba? Pray, hope, and don't worry. Comment natin yun. Pray, hope, and don't worry. God will always be bigger than your biggest problem. Samahan natin ito ng massive action every single day. Here's the thing, and this is what I believe for sure, no? When we listen to ourselves, when we trust ourselves, when we do the right thing and push through, no? Push through with our mission, provision will be there. Success and happiness, it will eventually happen in your life. Tulad na nangyari sa akin. There's gonna be naysayers, mga negative, mga critics, family members na nakita ka from their lens of fears, no? May mga, kumbaga, hindi sila naniniwala sa'yo, dahil, hindi naman dahil hindi ka nila mahal. Marami lang silang fears sa buhay nila na ayaw nilang in-explain ko sa mga training, no? Yung mga dream stealers. So, people may call you, you know, parang weak, ganyan. Oh, you're too young. Sometimes you're too old. Tapos, darating yung araw, sasabihin nila, ikukwento nila, paano ka nila nakilala. <laughs> Pag naging successful ka, oh, strong naman niya. Pero dati, weak ka, no? So, real talk. <laughs> real talk. Most people, they will only cheer for you after you've made it. Mag-cheer lang sila pag successful ka na. Pero ngayon, Hindi. So, anong gagawin natin ngayon para maging successful ka lumakas yung loob mo? You have to cheer for yourself right now. So, i-comment mo yon no? Kukomment mo, go, go, SD, ganyan. Go, go, SM, ganyan. Go, go, broker, ganyan. Or just go, 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 name mo. Tas, or i-congrats mo yung sarili mo. Tag yourself sa comment. You have to cheer for yourself now. Don't wait for other people kasi real talk after pa. 
after ba ng success mo, bago sila mag-congrats sa'yo or maniwala sa'yo. Now, 2021, Yes Land is so, so different from 2016 na hindi pinapansin, hindi ki kilala, iniiwan, yan, malayo na po tayo. We kept on growing and learning and we sold over 2 billion pesos in real estate properties no pandemic and hard lockdown. Our leaders doubled in number. No Today, 2021, every day may inquiry po how to be part of Yesland? Paano ba kami sa salid saan? Pwede po ba kami pumasok sa Yesland? Every day may benta, literal, araw-araw po may benta. That's crazy. So I encourage you to dream again, dream big, because you have a very, very, very big God. Wag mo masyadong isipin yung mga nasa labas, no? You just, it's, it's between you and God. So you talk to Him every day, trust yourself, believe in yourself, believe in God, no? As we, the march continues, wrap up na, tapos na, we are marching towards 3,000 homes. Again, this year, our goal is to help 3,000 Filipino families na magkaroon ng bahay or good investment via condo or lupa. No? So that's our goal, 3,000 families. Comment down below, March to 3,000. March to 3,000. So this year, yan. Meron pa tayong 10 months, right? To do it. March to 3,000. In closing, I just want to share that all of us have a calling. Calling to be a great mother, or father, or child, or friend, or workmate. As Christians and followers of Jesus, we are called to serve, to share His love, to, sh to shine His light, no? And be His hands and feet sa pamilya natin at sa mga tao sa paligid natin. You have everything you need. Oh, sabihin mo nga yun, everything I need comes to me. Ulit. Everything I need comes to me. Whatever it is, no? It will come to you. It will be provided for you. Minsan kasi iniisip mo, hindi ka qualified, no? Ire-remove mo yung self-doubt. Kaya mo. Kung kaya nila, kaya mo rin. So, ang aalalahanin natin ngayon in ending, yung nababasa natin lagi, God does not call the qualified. He qualifies the cold. Again, <laughs> God does not call the qualified. He qualifies the cold. Comment mo yon. I am qualified by God. Again, I am qualified by God. So, malalim yun, no? If you have a dream in your heart, it's part of your calling. Sino ulit sa inyo, mga viewers tonight, ang may dream? No, lahat naman tayo. No, lahat tayo may dream. And you already have everything na kailangan mo to achieve that dream. You just need to believe and take action. Kayang-kaya mo yan. Kung kaya po namin, kaya mo rin. I just made that decision to believe in myself that I can. And I believe in you. Yes, Land believes in you. I hope this very personal sharing motivate you and empower you to break through. Pag nahihirapan ka na, aalalahanin mo lang yung stories na sinishare namin dito sa Sizzling. Aalalahanin mo lang yung story na nagpaiyak sa akin sa talk, no? Um, yun lang, guys. I love you. Alam kong alam mo yan. Mahal ko kayo. We pray for you. We're excited to see you achieving your dreams. You just need to keep on going. Keep moving forward. And the march to greatness continues. Okay? The march to greatness continues. Thank you for listening. God bless.